When Solomon finished praying, fire came down from heaven and it consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices. And the glory of the Lord filled the temple. The priests could not enter the temple of the Lord because the glory of the Lord filled it. When all the Israelites saw the fire coming down and the glory of the Lord above the temple, they knelt on the pavement with their faces to the ground and they worshipped and gave thanks to the Lord, saying, He is good. His love endures forever. Second Chronicles 7, 1 to 3. Activating the fire of God. There is something we need to understand here. When the fire of God has been released, the fire of God manifests the glory of God. So meaning, if people of God we shall be walking with the fire of God, then we shall be a walking glory of God. You do not need to explain yourself to anybody because you know, just take the case of a natural fire. When the fire is in flames, there is an aura, there is a kind of a, an atmosphere that is mostly created by the flame. In most cases, it, it is goldish or somehow reddish according to the intensity of the flame. Now, that external atmosphere, kara, we call it the glory of the fire. So when the fire comes upon a person, you manifest glory. You manifest magnificence. You manifest excellence. You manifest brilliance. Actually, you illuminate, you spread light. You get that you become a source of light, you spread light. So, if there is, if you're not going to seek anything else from God, can we seek the fire of God? Because fire of God equals glory. Because glory is a manifestation of a fire. Even when you light a normal fire, when you sit some considerable distance between you and the fire, you are not in the fire. But between you and the fire, there is something that is always between you and the fire. The rays of the fire, which causes the atmosphere to be warm. To some extent, you find yourself you're removing some of your clothes because it becomes very hot. That's not the glory of God. So the fire can be burning in you, but on the outside, you manifest heat. You manifest hotness. So you manifest glory. You manifest favor. You get that? You manifest acceptability. So what we need to invest in is the fire of God, because bring the fire, glory is visible. Something else is that when the people saw the fire coming down, they not on the pavement with their faces to the ground and they worshipped and gave thanks to the Lord. Three things. Number one, we have seen fire is always accompanied by glory. Number two, where fire of God is active, something you are going to note is people submit to you. When they saw the fire, they knelt on the pavement, what we call street and marketplace dignity. On the pavement, they knelt with their faces down. Meaning, if you've been struggling with making people agree with you and come into terms with you, what you need to invest in is the fire. Because when they saw the fire, they knelt with their faces down. So the greatest secret 
of submitting, of causing people to submit to you. Either you are a, a business person, you want the customers to give in. If you are a pastor, you want your souls to surrender to you. The easiest way of making human, human beings fall face down, submit, is only through the fire. Don't use other gimmicks. They will backfire against you. But the fire will cause people to kneel down before you. Number three, and they worshipped, and they worshipped the Lord. So meaning, it is the fire of God that yields people to God. You want people to yield. You want people to, 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 to be of contrite heart. They worship the Lord. The fear of the Lord and reverence and standing in the hour of God is enabled by one who is walking with the fire. They worship the God saying, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. People without the fire of God, they struggle with worship. They struggle with acknowledging God. They struggle with appreciating what God is doing in their life. But if you are with the fire, it becomes very easy to worship because the fire compels. The fire roars. The fire forces. The fire causes one to yield. So the question then is, how was this fire uh, uh, attracted? Because fire came down from heaven. So there must be something here on earth that is drawing the fire. Number one is Solomon's prayer. I'm very categorical by saying Solomon's prayer. It is a prayer of wisdom and understanding. Not just praying, make Solomonic prayer. And you know Solomon is a symbol of wisdom. So something you need to do is Make prayers that are Solomonic. So make prayers that are filled with wisdom. And the prayers that are filled with wisdom are the prayers that you do or you make using the name of the Lord. Number two is the, of the burnt offering. When the fire came, there is something the fire targeted, the burnt offering and the sacrifices. I normally continue to say, where there is an altar and a sacrifice, there will always be a fire. So the two commandments, because these sacrifices are on the bronze altar. So command the two. And we said yesterday night that this bronze altar and the sacrifice stands for the cross of Jesus Christ and the body of Jesus Christ as a burnt offering. Very, very important. Last but not least is the, is the temple. Is a temple, the magnificent temple. When your body has become the temple of the Holy Spirit. So the fire came on the temple. You get that? The fire came on the temple. So what is going to attract, to attract the fire to you is when you are a temple of God. Remember the Bible says, we were bought at a price. We are not of our own. We need to honor God with our own bodies, for we are the temples of the Holy Spirit. Make sure if you are seeking the word of God, you are first of all transitioned yourself from being a body into a temple of the living God. Last but not least is fellowship. When all the Israelites and the priests saw and all that, in a nutshell, you can say that was fellowship, community fellowship. Make sure when you are following or you are pursuing the fire of God, you are functioning in a fellowship. You may have a fellowship by yourself, body, soul, and the spirit. The church of three members, the Lord will be in the midst. And whatever you shall agree to among us two, three, body, soul, and the spirit, it will be done for you by heavenly Father. So that way, we are going to experience the fire.